Western countries are turning their back on China and trying to become more independent. What are the reasons for this sudden change in policies? Should they actually become more independent? And is it even possible? Let's discuss together this interesting and important matter in today's video. Before we start, what is your opinion on that matter? Do you think that countries in general should be more independent, have less trade, less dependencies with other countries? Do you think this is still possible in our modern world? Let me know in the comments below. If you are new to this channel, then welcome to today's video. My name is Mark, I am in Chengdu City in China. Just finished today's workout, feels super great and as you can see the electricity is full on back supply here in southwest China, here in Chengdu. That is good news. After almost two weeks of limited electricity, limited lights, higher temperature air conditioning, now the outside temperatures and the weather in Chengdu are coming back to normal. It's uh, 32 degrees today which is quite normal for summer and <laughs> much better than 40 or even 42 degrees Tianxia Road but back to topic so Western countries have been increasingly turning their back on China some recent trends have caused the Western countries to have doubts about China's intentions and future development. In my opinion, everything started with the initiation of the trade conflict or trade war between China and the United States about telecom, 5G, spying, security, all these kinds of things. In the past couple years, a lot of political and economic situations and decisions have led to the West reconsidering their stance on China as a partner. The strict pandemic control measures, but also a lack of personal exchange, also a lot of regulatory issues have led for the Western countries to have doubt in China's role as a reliable partner. There have been a lot of calls from Western countries to make themselves more independent from China itself, from Chinese products, but also from Chinese money and investment. Now generally that does sound like a good idea, being independent from other countries, just having to rely on yourself, having your own products and services and so on. But is it really that easy? When the pandemic started, I remember I was in Germany and my Chinese friend and partner, he told me, just buy as many face masks, protective masks, as you can get. Trust me, you will not regret it. And I did, I did buy some, but I didn't really trust him. And in the end, we saw that this was one of the most lacking products. There were no masks anywhere. Even if you would spend a lot of money, you weren't even able to get any protective masks. At that time, many people in Germany actually realized if the goods, if the products from China are not coming, are arriving, we don't have any. In Germany, almost no one is producing these kind of things because it's just too expensive. And everybody just relies on cheap imports from China or other Asian or other countries. What Germany then did was to say, we are going to produce our own face masks. We don't need the imports from China. And they incentivized companies to start producing face masks. So what happened was that there were face masks. It took a long time to actually produce them, to have them. And once we had them, the price was like a euro or around a dollar for one mask. Before that, we have been sourcing face masks for around 10 cents or even less than that from China. So you can see the price skyrocketed just because the production, the labor cost 
and all these kind of things in Germany are just too expensive to produce these kind of things. And this, my friends, is only one example. There's tons of products that are being produced here in China for a very, very cheap price, very effectively, very fast. And yeah, the Chinese economy is profiting heavily off that, but also it is quite good for the Western countries because they can just import the cheap products and they don't have to take care of it themselves. But of course, you have to rely on these imports from other countries. Now, in my opinion, realistically speaking, I cannot see that Germany or any other country can just stop, totally stop importing foreign products and just start producing everything by themselves. It would just be too difficult to switch over to that and it would just be too expensive for the people. Probably nobody would even buy these products if they don't have to. I do believe that there's a reason why the things do work the way they work and obviously every country has the right and also the ability to become independent from other countries but what cost would it have? How much time would you have to spend and how much money would you have to spend to just build up all that infrastructure and just to cut all those relationships with China or with other countries? As a conclusion, I would say that yes, Western countries do have to become more independent from China. They do have to start to rely on themselves more, but only in industries and only in aspects where it actually makes sense. Without doubt, you have to be able to produce all necessary, all important products that you need for the normal functioning of your country. Without doubt, you also have to keep the control over the crucial infrastructure, roads, bridges, electricity, telecom, things like that. So in these areas, it actually does make sense to become more independent. But in the same time, I also truly believe that in our modern world, it's not the right way to isolate yourself from everyone and to just do everything by yourself, cut ties with your partners and with China. I think that better relationships and more trade are going to be beneficial for both sides. As you've probably noticed from my videos, I'm an ambassador for <laughs> Chinese and Western friendships. Doesn't mean that you have to embrace every aspect, every part of China, of the culture, because there are quite a lot of differences. But you just have to be pragmatic in those things that are important to you and important to your partners. So this is why making yourself completely independent from China will be a very difficult task or a very expensive task. But what is your opinion on that? Do you think that Western countries should cut ties with China, reduce trade and relationships and become more independent? How do you think should we do that? Let me know in the comments. Now I'm about to finish my little walk here. I'm about to go back home eat lunch and then I have to get back to work. So it's about time to wrap up today's video. I really hope you liked it and if you think it was interesting content then don't forget to leave a like under the video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more interesting analysis and stories from China and the rest of the world. As always I want to thank you all for watching and really hope to see you in the next video.